is up guys welcome back to the channel today we are going over our new project bike as you can see we finished our 2001 model which looks mint but let's go outside and go take a look at our new bike all right guys so here she is this is a 2003 yamaha r1 and as you can tell it doesn't look in too horrible shape but it definitely does have some issues for sure just give you a little walk around right now so you can just kind of see how it looks as you can see we have a a stock oem can that has been butchered literally there's nothing in there but overall the bike is really not that bad it does have all oem fairings and obviously some of them are scratched and or cracked or both which kind of sucks you can see there's like tape holding this on this bike cracked i can see right here that there is a crack in that front fender which kind of sucks because that could have been salvageable but I don't know, we'll play around with it, we'll see. But um, obviously this bike did have some type of crash at one point. You can see it had a frame slider. The bolt is bent and this it was probably a big uh, frame slider because you can see on this side how big that one is. And that one has been worn down as well. But the tank seems to be in actually really, really great shape, which is awesome. It is missing a few little side panels like the two ones here and on the other side which is not too big of a deal i actually have a set of oem ones sitting from a last bike that i had that was an 03. our front cal such a shame that someone actually put a zip tie in here they put a zip tie and put holes in here so this is kind of you can't really do too much with that the windscreen whatever that's going to get replaced and oh you can just see that yeah here's the rash so Obviously, we're going to replace this whole front cowl. I do want to try to stick with OEM fairings for this bike, but we'll see what happens. I got to see the availability and the price on everything. I mean, as you can see, some stuff is just kind of really not in good shape at all. Obviously, there's no mirrors on here. That's no problem. We'll get new ones of those. Like I said, missing this inner panel, which I have, which is fine. You can tell the OEM... Uh, turn signal was obviously broken off and uh you know stay to cover scratched not a big deal we could always sand that down and get that repainted it isn't leaking so that is good our chain may need some work i did put some lube on it and i'm trying to it does have a little bit of a tight spot i don't know if it's just because it, it was sitting for a while for sure um there is a new rear tire on here we already got that installed i got it for actually really cheap so i used that this was the old tire guys Look at how bad this was. This thing was shot. I'm talking about super shot. Like, here's the kit. Like, this part is super soft right there. So it's far past the cables. And we did replace the rear brake pads. Here's the rear brake pads, guys. Literally, absolutely nothing left of these at all. No pads. It was literally metal on metal. So we did replace those brake pads already. Kind of did that off camera. As you can see, we got... It's kind of hard to see, but we did get brand new pads in there, so that's all set. And there's little scuffs here and there, which, like I said, we'll touch up. Rims have a little bit of scuffing on it, not too big of a deal. We'll see if we actually want to keep them this same color. Maybe we'll get them powder coated. No idea. Maybe we'll just keep them the same. We'll see. Like I said, we do have uh, this Diablo Rosso 3 on here which I got for super cheap. It was like 50 bucks for the tire. So I could not turn it down. Um, like I said, the exhaust, obviously that's butchered. And the bike runs actually very, very well. It runs really, really good. The lights aren't working. So I'm assuming it was something like you can see this is cracked. So maybe the fuse thing in here or the, uh, the relay is probably bad. So we'll get replacement of those. The forks are leaking a little bit this side i don't know which side it is i think it's yeah it's this side you can see this one is leaking a tiny bit i'm sure we could use a seal mate and get it to be sealed and not be leaking anymore we did that on our 2001 model both sides were leaking and it's perfectly good now not leaking at all so you're probably thinking this is really not too much of a project and you're right it's not a crazy amount besides the plastics and other things like that but the headers are cracked there is it's hard to, it's hard to see in there but over here they're cracked and underneath on the bottom they're cracked so they're shot so we're actually going to put a full system on here i would like to get a uh a power command of five or something get a nice full dyno tune hopefully 
but we'll see how it runs with the full exhaust as is. I know it's not going to be dialed in 100%, but obviously with that power commander, we'll get it where it needs to be and possibly even a custom dyno tune if I end up liking this bike so much. So right off the rip, it does run really good, actually, surprisingly, with that cracked exhaust. The thing runs beautiful. It's got 27,000 miles on it. Um, like I said, we did get the new brake pads in there. We flushed the rear brake fluid, so there's brand new fluid in there. That looks all good. We'll do the front, same with the front. We'll get new pads probably, throw those on there. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. The pads seem to work pretty decently. But just a total bummer about these plastics, guys. These things were not in bad shape until, you know, this happened. So it is what it is. But overall, the bike does really not look that bad. So I'll start it up now just so you could hear it. But like I said, this is barely on right now because I started to almost take it off. Um, but anyway, we'll start this thing up. It's been sitting for a bit, so... And it's gonna sound like, it's gonna really sound like that the motor is, there's like a knock in there or something, but it's not, it, it's the exhaust 100%. But anyway, let's fire it up. I just hope this thing does not come flying off because it is not tight, but we'll see. Okay, I guess I'm not starting it because the battery is dead. <laughs> to be expected, it's been sitting for a while. But anyway, that's okay. I'll charge the battery back up and it does start, like I said, but it just really sounds bad. All right, guys, so we got the bike back in the lift. I did charge the battery, so it should fire up now. So let me uh, start this thing. So you guys get the point the bike does start it runs like i said it sounds like shit but honestly the bike runs really really strong surprisingly as you can see when i was kind of showing over here you could kind of see the sparks coming out of that exhaust or a little bit of light from the spark um obviously the headers are cracked here they're cracked on there and they're all cracked up so like i said we're going to replace all that here's our beautiful 5jj that's complete if you guys want to check that out i got a whole series of a rebuild on this bike which came out amazing but we do have a full acro exhaust over there that i'm going to end up polishing and cleaning it up really nice and then we'll put it on to this bike right here so this is going to be a really nice bike when it's done i'm looking forward to it but all right that's going to be the overall damage assessment of this bike to the best of my knowledge at least i may have missed a couple little things here and there but obviously as we start to rebuild this i'll show you guys everything that i'm going to be doing to it so that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already and hit that notifications bell. We have way too many subscribers that are actually not watching the videos. It's mostly newer people. So you guys that are subscribed, please watch the videos. It definitely helps me out a lot. And overall, I'm just really looking forward to getting this bike into tip shop, you know, into tip top running shape. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.